Jones has it. Shear comes back. Jones waits and ties it. Things can turn that quickly in March. Pow pow. Back to Sabali. Again to Sabali. Again, it's Sabali. A career high, 31. Well, I like that play right there. She went, they went inside. She passed the ball outside, gets the ball, releases the defense, and able to get another shot. Oh, Wells, beautiful pass. Drop down the chin for two. Both teams making such beautiful plays down the stretch. Sabali from outside. Not this time. And the rebound for Belmont. Second overtime here in Knoxville. Tied at 70. Wells against Rogers. Wells leans in, draws the contact, and she'll go to the free throw line. Well, uh, players for Belmont, you've got Jones chugging water right now. Training staff is running back and forth. We've got Kinney, who left the game earlier. She's been trying to stretch out her calf on the court. <laughs> Wells left the game for a while. Pow Pow was out for a little while. I mean, everyone I told you they is were a running. Tired. Yeah, they're running on fumes right now. Foul on Rogers, her fourth. Wells at the free throw line, delivers. Belmont in front. First time they've led since regulation. Well, you see a nice little horn set right here, trying to set the screen. One-on-one -on -one matchup. Prince looking to be a facilitator. Out to Shear, three on the shot clock. Shear on the pull up. Prince inside the rebound, a tie up, possession arrow, Oregon. And Prince looks like she's hurt. Well, you got it on both sides. Players are just exhausted. Love right here. Oh, now the knee right, right, yeah, right, the knee right into Sedona Prince's stomach. Could have had the wind knocked out of her really quick. Just so uncomfortable. You think she's leaving the game? Nope. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Pow pow. Back off the Sabali. Belmont by two, second overtime. Pow Pow knocked away. Open look for three, it's Rogers. Suddenly fights for it, saved by Kenny. Belmont's got it, inside of 10 seconds to go and Belmont takes a timeout. Gets to the front court, so that's not the issue. We're ready to play. Belmont with the ball and the lead. Well, Belmont has to get the ball in if they're looking at finishing this game with the win. They got to get the ball in, take care of the ball. Oregon on the other end, you got to steal foul and try to put yourself in an opportunity to get another chance. Want to try to get to the Wells. That's a very good free throw shooter. They've done so. Pow Pow gives the foul. Destiny Wells, 75% free throw shooter. If she makes them both, they'll make things incredibly difficult for Oregon. But if she makes one of two and Oregon gets possession, they do have a timeout remaining. They can call the timeout, advance the ball into the front court, and certainly have a chance. But let's see what happens with Wells at the free throw line. Seven for seven tonight. The door is open here for Oregon. Well, 4.5 seconds, a lot of time. Look for regardless, make or miss, Oregon will probably call a timeout. 
One of two, timeout Oregon. They will start tonight. Three point lead for Belmont, second overtime. Prince is gonna have to heave it to tie, and it caught the back iron. And Belmont, in double overtime, has pulled another upset in the NCAA tournament. Unbelievable.